Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee. In this video, I will continue to share with you an updated review of my Hermes purchases. If you missed part one, you can click on the video right here to watch. But again, in this video, I'm just going to focus on shoes because I already have six pairs of Hermes shoes. For each of them, I will talk about the current price, the sizing, if I find them comfortable, if I think they are worth the money, and I will also do modeling shots for each of them. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find my video helpful and let's get started. This is the Agri Sandal in waterproof TPU with the classic Hermes 3 motifs in the front. The shoe was made in Italy. The color is Verde Ambra, which is a light mint green color. It retails for 295 The sandal also comes in black. Hermes does this type of waterproof TPU sandal every year. So every year the pattern is going to be a little bit different and I got them this year. For this type of material, it is very expensive but but it is still the most affordable shoe from Hermes. In terms of the sizing, I got 38. My usual size for Hermes shoes is 37 and a half, but this sandal runs a little bit small, so I would recommend to get half a size up. And another reason is because the bar in the front is pretty thick, so if you get half a size up, you can get a little bit more of comfort. Let me show you the slippers that I wear every day at home. And the bar in the front is just so much thinner than the bar on the Agri sandal. So that's why I barely wear the Agri sandal. The rubber sole is still very clean. There are many letters of H at the bottom which represents Hermes. I feel like I'm a little bit hesitant to start wearing them because my friend also has them in black and she said it's just not that comfortable. But next month we're traveling to Hawaii so I'm thinking to bring it with me. If I do then I will be able to to wear it more and share with you an updated review later on. Next is my orange sandal which is the most class and popular style from Hermes. It is in gold box cowskin leather with white stitching. I really love the color with the contrast stitching. It is an iconic Hermes sandal which is an essential piece in every wardrobe. It has natural leather sole with gold lining. It is made in Italy. It retails for 600 60. The front is in more of a square shape which looks really casual and it comes in a variety of colors so if this is the style that suits you, you can always get more colors and there are also many beautiful seasonal colors that I will consider getting later on. I was debating between gold and white because I already have the Oasis sandal in white which I will show you in a minute. So I went for gold which is also very classic. I tried on 38 but it was too loose in the front so I still got 37 and a half which is my usual size for my shoes. It already has some creases on the edge cutout part and the edge cutout has been stretched out because I've been wearing it in the summer so it has become the shape of my feet. The first time that I wore it, the inner side felt a little bit stiff but luckily I didn't get any bliss but after that it feels pretty comfortable but I didn't have the chance to wear it all day long so I feel like I still need some time to test it out. I like the fact that it is so versatile, you can wear it with everything, shorts, pants, skirts and dresses and it can elevate your look even though you're just wearing something very simple and casual. Next is the Oasis sandal which is also a very classic and popular style from Hermes. It is in blank calfskin leather with iconic edge cutout. You can instantly tell that the look is just more elegant and dressed up. I will show a comparison between the Ore and the Oasis sandal in a minute. The shoe was made in Italy. It has 1.97 inch block heel. It retails for $750. So it is $90 more than the Ore sandal. And from my observation, the Oasis sandal has fewer color options than the Ore sandal. Probably because it's less popular. Not everyone likes the block heel. But I like that it can instantly elevate the look when you wear it. It just look more put together. It's casual yet elegant and it can elongate your legs. So that's why I bought them before I bought the orange sandals. Only the front part on the shoe is in white lining and the rest is in light brown which is not the same as the orange sandal. I got 37 and a half but I feel like I should have gone for 38 because it is quite narrow. The first 
first time I wore it, I was walking for about 20 minutes and the inner side felt very stiff and it did hurt my feet. But after that, it feels pretty comfortable. I guess it's because I already stretched out the leather because I got them last year. So I've worn this more than the orange sandal. And it also has some creases on the edge color part. The sandal makes a loud noise when you walk down the stairs. So if you think you feel embarrassed, please don't buy this. I'm not that conscious, so I'm okay with it. So let me put the Aura and Oasis sandals side by side so you can see the difference. Can you guys tell that the Oasis sandal is much narrower than the orange sandal, including the front and the sole? Because it is narrow, so it will give you less support. And again, I feel like the orange sandal is still easier to walk in and it's more comfortable. And the front part of the Oasis sandal is more of a pointed round shape and the orange sandal is more of a round slash square shape. It's not necessary for you to buy both of them. It really depends on what style you want. If you want something that's on the go, casual and more comfortable. And if you have white feet, I think the orange sandal would be a better option. But if you want to look more put together and if you want to wear it with dresses or skirts, if you have narrow feet and if you think you'll be able to handle the heel height, Oasis sandal is the look that I prefer. Again, we'll be trying traveling to Hawaii next month. Comment down below and let me know if you think I should bring the Oran or the Oasis sandal. I want to bring either one of them because I still want to look more put together when I take pictures. And by the way, if you find my video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate your support. This is the Royal Loafer. It is in blank calfskin leather with a French detail and palladium plated signature edge buckle. The shoe was made in Italy. It retails for $1,075. It has rubber sole and heel. I like that it has the bright yellow color in sole and lining. The loafer comes in a variety of colors. I would love to get another pair of this, maybe in black or brown color, so I can wear it in fall and winter. I still feel like because white color works better with spring and summer outfits. Just be aware that the shoe will have creased the first day you start to wear it because it is in full leather and it has become pretty dirty because it's in white but I think I can just wipe them off. In terms of the sizing, I got a size 37 and a half and it runs a little bit big so you can see a little bit of room on the back of my heel but 37 will probably be pretty tight in the front so I stick with my usual size. You probably know the Paris loafer which is also very popular from Hermes but I like the Royal loafer more than the Paris loafer because it has the French detail, it can cover the crease and it is more feminine. You can wear it with everything, pants, dress, skirts, you name it. It's just so versatile and practical. You can wear it casually but still look together. They are definitely worth the money. I would say they are one of the best shoes that you can get from Hermes because it is made in 100% leather. Next is the Neo Ankle Boot. It is in supple and timeless heritage calfskin leather with iconic palladium plated buckle. It comes in black and natural. Actually, this color is not the same as gold. It is lighter than gold and it has a red undertone. The shoe was made in Italy. It retails for $1,525. It has leather sole and heel with gold skin and sole and lining. The leather makes the shoe look really luxurious and classy. Great quality. I like that it's so comfortable because it's flat and it's the most expensive shoe in my collection. But is the most comfortable one. By the way, it's not going to elongate your leg and it will even make your legs look shorter. I mean, that's how all the flat ankle boots are. So I'm okay with that. It has creases in the front, which is expected with this type of natural leather. And it also has some crease on the side. If you get the shoe in black, the creases will be less noticeable. We went to Washington DC to see Cherry Blossoms for two days a couple months ago. I walked a lot in this boots and I had no issue at all. I like that it has a loose opening so you can wear it with legs 
leggings or skinny jeans or skirts and dresses my friend just got them in black and she also said that they are really comfortable i got 38 just because 37 and a half was out of stock at the time it's a little bit loose but i can wear thicker socks Next is the Warrior Boots. It is also a very popular ankle boot from Hermes. It is in knit material. It has motif in calfskin leather and it has leather trims on the back of the boots. It retails for $980. It was made in Italy. It has 2.4 inches heel. It comes in different heel height, but I feel like this is the best one. It gives you comfort, but it also elevates the look. I really like the horseshoe shaped heel. It has Hermes logo on the heel, which is a really nice detail. I got my usual size 37 and a half. The boots comes in a few colors, such as blue, khaki, beige, and black. If you wear it for brunch, dinner, date, or doing a little bit of walking around and shopping, I think you'll be fine. But I don't think I will be able to wear it for the whole day just because it still has a little bit of height and you will definitely feel the pressure in the front because it is pretty thin. It can elongate your legs, it can hug your feet and ankles really nicely. It is versatile, you can wear it with straight cut or white leg pants and you can also wear it with black leggings, skirts or dresses. Don't wear it down when it rains or snows because it is a knit material so it's going to get wet. There's no visible wear and tear because it is a knit material, it's just the bottom got dirty. Honestly, I feel like it's not necessary to get this boot from Hermes because other designer brands also have similar sock boots. If you really want something that's quality from Hermes, I guess the new ankle boot or other leather boots will be a better option and for daily use i still prefer the new ankle boots because it is comfortable and you can wear it with a lot of different outfits but for the look i would prefer the warrior boots because it has the height and you will look more put together and elegant so these are all my Hermes shoes comment down below to let me know if you have any questions that i have not covered in this video and again don't forget to like and subscribe if you found my video helpful thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!